Hello again, this is um, the review, the, a review of a ring stretcher, not a good one, um, I got this for Christmas actually from my partner, um, it was about £55 plus delivery, which is you know good, a good price if it worked, um, so uh, what do I say, um, it's rubbish basically, stay well away from it. I put the first ring on, this cap was down, you can see the rubber cap there, that was down over here, and if you look, if I turn that up, you'll see there's a four screws collet there, and it's just been engineered so badly that there's a big gap, so the first ring that I put on, moved the bar, it popped this all up, this all came, I don't know whether you can see that, God, it's all come up through this base so it's literally just no good absolute crap engineering I don't understand why because my god how hard can it be I mean I know these things from China are um, cheap obviously well not cheap to me because 50 pounds 50 pounds at the end of the day I don't think um, it's that bloody cheap it's a bit of steel with an handle um, Obviously, there's a bit more to that to it than that, but the way that's just pulled up there, that's just absolutely bloody ridiculous. And I do notice as well. I know this camera the light isn't brilliant on here. Let me pull my light down a bit. Right, so you can see that's pulled right up straight through this this collar here. The other thing is when it does go back, because that's as back as far as it goes. Now this plate is supposed to come up and you're supposed to be able to turn it round because there's another load of holes underneath um, this one doesn't so you can't even get that out to turn it round and I do realize that you know you buy the cheaper stuff and you expect um, you expect to lose a bit of the quality of the item I realize that but it still has to be fit for use. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's ridiculous. Um, uh, it's upset my missus because it was a little, pre little extra present for me. You can see there, that, see the difference in there? I don't know if you can see that. You see the difference, one's up and one's down. Um, it's such a shame because it looks, when you get it out of the box, it looks like a great tool. So, but unfortunately, it isn't. Duke is made, made in Italy. So, not in China then. It's absolute rubbish. So, just stay away from them. Pay the little bit extra. I think there's another one at around 80, 80, 90 pounds that you can get that looks, that's just different. It's, uh, the metal on the top here is different. And, and even in the pictures, you can see that it's a nice tight fit around this collar here. And that's what you want. And obviously, they the good ones don't have these stupid rubber things that sit over to hide the fact it's shit steel. I mean, this this steel really. I've, I'm actually tempted to take it apart and bite it because I think you could bite through that steel <laughs> with your teeth. I know this sort of steel, and it's. Ah, oh, let me pull that back up. And this this steel that's in there is the softest I mean Jesus you could cut through it with a standing knife I think um, I just wanted to share that because it's all right doing these reviews but sometimes you got to be you got to do them on the bad not just the good and I've had some great stuff recently from China that's been really good and it's, it's worked well and obviously this one's from Italy and it is a bag of crap stay away from it okay that's it really just a quickie again Hopefully my videos will start getting better at some point. Once I get a bit more confidence and it's not easy for, um, oh God, I'd, I'm in, in awe of some of the people and the confidence they've got when they're doing these things. But myself, I haven't got it, but I do like, I do like sharing things. Um, so that's what I do. Um, okay, thanks a lot. Uh, just stay away from this. So remember the name, Duke, made in Italy. Stay away from it. Okay, thanks. Bye.